Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to be doing your makeup and we're going to use the same stuff that I use every morning when I get ready for the day. The first thing you have to do is make sure that you start with a nice clean surface. So, you want to make sure to remove any products on your face. And I will show you how we're going to do that. You would start. You can wash your face, of course, you can just use like um, any kind of face soap or whatever. If you've already done that and you find that you have any um, residual um, little bits of mascara or anything that the soap didn't remove, of course you want to do all this the night before, um, but in this instance we're just going to kind of go through a little bit of the nighttime routine too. So you wash your face and then you can also use um, something like this. It doesn't have to be this particular brand. This is Micellar Cleansing Water from Garnier Skin Active and I really like this because it's very economical. I believe that it is. I don't like to buy the pre-moistened makeup towelettes. They're good for travel but I think they're a bit expensive um, so I don't use those. I just get a bag of, these are the extra large Swispers cotton balls and I really like them because they're they're much bigger than, you, you know, typically when you get a, what it's called a large cotton ball, they're, they're actually very small, but these are the Swispers extra large or jumbo cotton balls. Um, I get them at Walmart. I can get a bag of, I think it's a hundred and it's maybe three dollars, but a hundred, a bag of a hundred will last me quite a while and I only have to use one. So what we do, look at your face. It looks good. It looks good. We're just going to go over your eyes a little bit, like this. We'll just put a little bit of this on there. So you flip the top open like that. This is the all-in-one cleansing water product. It removes makeup and cleanses and refreshes. Leaves your skin feeling nice and soft. It, it's not oily at all. So we put some on the cotton ball. Let's have enough here. Now you just close your left eye. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to gently sweep it under your eye. And then we're going to go over your eyelid too. Like that. And you just kind of, I just sweep sort of in an outward motion, like going out towards your ear. I'm not bearing down hard. I'm not scrubbing your eyelid or your under eye area. And then you can flip, what I do then typically, I flip the cotton ball over to the other side. And then I add some more of the micellar cleansing water to the other side. And I will use that other side on your right eye. So it, now if you would just close your right eye, I'm going to get under, right, just right under this part right here, under that. And if you just keep your eyelid closed, I'm going to gently go over the eyelid. And not hard. And you just kind of gently just, it's almost like I'm massaging the skin on your eyelid and under your eye. And then what that will do, the cotton ball will just gently, with the cleansing water on the cotton ball, it will gently just sweep away any little remnants of mascara or eyeshadow or eyeliner or anything that you have left on there. So, so you've washed your face. We've gone over it with the cleansing water. And now, we are ready to start. Now, of course, every night before I go to bed, I make sure that I have removed all of my makeup. And I always moisturize my skin at night before I go to bed. I try not to ever fall asleep with my makeup on. If I do, it's, it's because I was exhausted and I just fell asleep and I have done that. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. The next thing we're going to add is this. Now this is a product I recently found in my Ipsy Glam bag and I really like it. This is Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. This is a lightweight, oil-free gel cream that refreshes and moisturizes your skin. I actually need to order some more. It feels kind of light now that I hold it for a second. Um, 
this is a 1.7 ounce little tube. Um, I really like it. I noticed after, um, after I used it for a week or two, my skin felt smoother. I really like the way it made my skin feel. So I decided to go ahead and buy a full, a full size, um, container of it. Now I'll show you what it looks like. It comes with this little twist, twist off cap here. I'm going to put some on my finger and show you. See that? It's just, um, it's, it smells like watermelon. It's, to me, to me it smells, smell that. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. So we're going to take this and, um, I'm going to get a little bit here. I'm just going to gently massage that in right under here for starters. Just under your eye. I'm not going to get it in your eye. A little more. It will come down your nose like that. And then I'm just gently going to get a little more. Come down here to your cheeks there. And just I'm just doing an, like a circular motion to massage that into your skin. Put a little bit for your chin there. I'm going to come on down here a little bit. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not greasy at all. You can feel it here. Feel that. I'll put some on your finger. And just do like that. See, it's not it's not greasy at all. Not at all. Now, um, let's do the other side over here. We're going to get under your eye. I'm just going to do like that. And then as we come down the cheek, the other side of your nose, I just start sort of massaging it in in a circular motion. It's kind of, and it absorbs very quickly. Okay, we'll come down to your jawline there. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to do your forehead. In here and between your eyes <laughs> I'm not gonna get it in your eyebrows I don't I don't want to I don't want to get it in your eyebrows and then we're gonna come down to the temple on this side I'm just getting a little bit at a time and on your right temple there now how does that feel it feels good doesn't it? it it does it sort of feels like it wakes your skin up a little bit that's the way it feels to me but it's not heavy or greasy or anything like that. Very, very lightweight. The good thing about it, too, that I have found about this product, if you use a liquid uh, foundation, which I do, right here, this is what I'm using right now. If you use a liquid foundation, I found that if you put the Pure Lease on right before the liquid foundation, it goes on much smoother. It really helps to smooth and blend the liquid foundation much better. Um, really, any lightweight moisturizer will kind of do that. But this is kind of dual purpose for me because I like the fact that it leaves my skin feeling very smooth all day. And it helps me apply the, the um, foundation a little easier. So right now, we're going to put this on you. This is what I use every day. It's got some on the lid there. This is L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen SPF 17. This is True Beige N5. That's the color that I use. This is actually running a little low too. I need to get some more of that. So it's just a little glass bottle. Um, you can get these at Walmart for about $8, I think. And a bottle this size will last me about two months, at least. I think I've had this one longer than that. So you take off the little lid there. Now, you don't have to shake it up ahead of time. You really don't. See, so see, it's just, it's just a little glass bottle. And what I do... Oh, wait. Yeah, I want to do that first. Okay. I'm not used to doing this on other people. <laughs> I forget the steps. I just do them automatically. I don't think about it. So typically what I do, I take my middle finger and I kind of put it over the top of the bottle. And then I turn it upside down like that until I get the amount that I want on there like that. And I would like for you to close your left eye 
and I always start right here and then I bring it down and over I don't know why that's just the way I do it so I need you to close close your left eye and I just move my hand quickly and I am just applying it and what happens as I apply it these other two fingers kind of pick it up as I kind of do like this they kind of pick it up and help blend it so we come down the nose I'm gonna kind of run it over your nose a little bit get if you just close your eye one more time just the left one I'll make sure that I blend that and I blend it on out to the temple a little bit then I need to get some more and I'm, I'm gonna come back up here but I want to come on down to your cheeks come on down and make sure you blend it really well on the jawline I see a lot of people um, who don't really blend so well so it looks like you're wearing a mask almost especially if the foundation doesn't match their skin tone very well so I'm going to bring it on down here Let me get some more. just going to what I'm doing I'm taking my hand and just kind of doing like that or and you can do this and this I try not to make all my movements straight down I try to do them up like that To make sure to blend it on over toward your you know the ear like right in here and just make sure it's blended thoroughly as far over as you need it to go now I need you like this I'm gonna put some right here and just blend that just under the nose there above the lip Now I need you to close your right eye and we're going to start the process on this side and just gently start right on the eyelid and I move kind of quickly with my fingers the index finger and the ring finger are helping to blend it out and then I bring it down under here right under your eye and down the nose sweep it out like that Make it a little more. and then I'm coming down to your cheek here And I just move my fingers kind of just in a circular motion and I, I'm only getting a very little bit at a time on my hand here I'm not getting like gobs and gobs of it it's very it's a very light uh, a light film <laughs> putting it on very lightly now we come down to your chin if you will hold your chin up a little bit again I'm going to blend from the jawline ear and down and to make sure that we have it blended into the neck perfectly so it will be it will be undetectable it's going to blend very nicely let me get your forehead I almost forgot so I come up to the forehead and again I just initially I kind of make a sweep straight across the first time I touch your forehead it just goes straight across and then I blend in a circle, circular motions coming down to your temples and up to the hairline make sure you get the hairline there mm -hmm. no, you don't need to hold your hair back that's okay I got it I got it there now that looks good so I think we're about done with the, um, the liquid L'Oreal Too Much liquid foundation now at this point see I have a foundation on my fingers I keep a folded bit of paper towel or a napkin or whatever in, in the room where I do my makeup I actually don't do my makeup where normal people do <laughs> um, the lighting in my bathroom is not good for applying makeup and it's, it's really bad um, it's fine for everything else but for applying a makeup it's not good actually I apply my makeup in the half bath downstairs <laughs> because the lighting in there is perfect and really nobody uses it anyway so that's where I go every morning to do my makeup so I keep a half of a paper towel in there that I can just 
wipe because one of the complaints I do have about this makeup is that it's kind of hard to wash it off your hand. I do wash my hands in the process of um, applying my makeup, but it doesn't get quite all of it off. So if I wipe my hands on the towel, the little hand towel in the bathroom, it leaves little smudges. So I just keep a paper towel in there. And after I wipe, wash my hands, I might wipe it on this. So I keep a paper towel for that. Now, what have we done? What have we done? We've done the, the Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. And we've also done the foundation. Now, while that kind of sets, I like to start the next things. Right after I finish the foundation, I come along with these two items here. Now, I have prematurely gray hair, and my eyebrows started to go gray about five years ago. So they're very light. So what I've started doing is applying just a little bit of a brown eyeliner to them to make them a little darker. This is Alme Intense Eye Color. And it is, um, it's brown. It's just a brown eyeliner. I was looking to see if it had, it's, it, the color is Brown Topaz 002, Brown Topaz. And see, it's retractable like that. So I don't use much. I just go over it. You don't even really need it, but I just very faintly will trace over your eyebrows to the left one. Just very, very faint. And then I go over the right one very, very delicately. Just a touch like that. Okay. And that's all I use that for. This is really good if you haven't had enough sleep, which is me basically every day. Um, this is from Thrive Cosmetics. Um, it is a brilliant eye brightener and the color is Stella. You see, it's like this. It's almost like a beige color, but it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Now we're only going to use this right in the corners of your eyes. You just take it and just kind of smudge, smudge, and that's it. And you can kind of blend it a little bit with your fingertips if you want to. You don't have to close your eyes. If you look up just a little bit, that helps. Just a tad right there and right there. And then I really just kind of blend it just a little bit right down here like that. That's for the corners of your eyes, and it just kind of brightens it up a little bit. And then we have this. I know it's a lot of products. I know. <laughs> this is Instantly Ageless from Jeunesse. This is a reusable container here, and you only need a tiny bit right under here. This is what I put on, but you put it on over your foundation. I've tried this different ways, and I find that it works best over your liquid foundation, not under it. You actually put it on over the foundation. So you open it up. This part just pops off. And this is all we're going to use, and that's for both under eye areas. So we take this, and I'm just going to dot here and dot here. And then I'm just going to blend it right there only. And I just very gently smooth that in just in the under eye areas and and really really nowhere else. You don't you don't have to put it way down here or anything. Now you do want to give that a little bit of time to kind of dry. And that helps with under eye puffiness a bit. But I applied mine about 14 hours ago, so mine has worn off. It only lasts about 8 hours, so I've had a very long day. <laughs> so you blend it there. And it will feel a little bit wet. If you find an area um, that feels like you got a little bit too much on, you can just gently take your finger and just kind of do like that. And that's another reason I like to have a paper towel handy. So you can just take your fingers and just kind of wipe it off like that. Yeah, 
Okay. Now while that kind of dries a little bit, we have to decide on our eyeliner. Now, these are the two that I use the most. I use this one more. These are liquid eyeliners from LA Colors. I have tried multiple brands and types of eyeliners, all different price range, price points, price ranges. And I keep coming back to these because I like these better than some that I paid 10 to 12, $15 for. These I get from Dollar Tree. They are $1 each and they're wonderful. I love them. Um, so this is the brown one and this is the black one. And, um, usually depending on what I'm wearing that day, that determines kind of what color I go with. Here lately, I've been using the brown a lot. So how do you feel about either, which do you think would match your outfit better? The black one? Okay, that's fine. So it has this long wand open it up. Now it comes out with a tiny little brush. Very, very tiny. And if there's a little, sometimes there will be just a little dot of eyeliner on the end. You can just wipe it like this to make the point even finer. You just wipe it on the inside of the little pot of eyeliner like that. Now you have to hold really still. And I only do the top lid. I don't put any eyeliner on the bottom. I used to, but I don't anymore. So if you will just close your eyes, don't squint, don't, don't clench them shut. Just gently hold them closed or just three quarters of the way. And I'm just going to gently, I'm going to put a very thin line just above your lashes. Just very, very thin. I try not to make it too thick. Um, if you mess up, and sometimes I do when I'm applying it. Sometimes I'll get it on a little too thick or I'll get a little too much. I always keep Q-tips handy that you can kind of go back over and erase whatever you don't want there. I'm going to do your right eye. Just very, very light. Just a very light line just above your upper lashes there. Okay. And one trick that I have found is that sometimes the eyeliner will get on your lashes a little bit and then it dries, but I've had that problem with all liquid eyeliners. So what I've started doing is I go ahead and do my mascara right away, just in case there's any on the basis of my eyelashes, because if you apply the mascara after that's dried, it can be a little difficult, like it clumps your eyelashes up a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. We're still waiting for this anyway. And we're letting your foundation kind of set and get all happy and married on your skin there. This is what I'm using. Um, I, I switch around, right? I'm using this and some magnetic mascara I got with my Ipsy Clam Bag. I, I go back and forth. But this one I use pretty frequently. This is Maybelline. Uh, great Lash Mascara, Blackest Black. Um, it's a pretty good mascara. It's pretty inexpensive, and I like it. I do wish the brush were a little bit bigger, but, you know, it's a minor complaint. So if you would just kind of close your eyes halfway. You don't have to close them all the way, so I'm just going to use this brush to go ahead and separate those lashes and apply the mascara. And if you will look up, I will get the lower lashes on your left eye ah, there. That's fine. You can blink. It's okay. It's not going to mess up anything. Let me get those upper ones a little bit more. Just close them halfway. Okay. And we're going to do the right eye. So if you will close your right eye, close the right eyelid about halfway. Um... I don't put on a ton of mascara unless I'm just, sometimes I just get a wild hair and I will put on more. Just depends on how I feel that day. Okay, now if you will look up, I'm going to do the lower lashes over here. And the way I do it, when I first start to apply it, you have to be kind of careful. You poke your nose with it. You kind of saw back and forth over the lashes and then pull it down. 
saw back and forth, pull down, saw just over the eyelashes. You can do it on the top too, saw back and forth, pull up. I find that that helps to distribute the mascara a little better. You, I think you get more on your lashes doing that and then pulling up for the upper lashes and then pulling down for the lower ones. I think it kind of helps, but you really have to be careful not to get carried away or you'll poke your nose and then you'll have a little dot. <laughs> I've done that many, many times. You have that little black dot on your nose. <laughs> you really have to focus. Okay. That looks really nice already. We haven't even really done anything else. All right, we're going to do the powder in just a minute, but before we do that, I want to give it just another minute or so. Let's look at some eyeshadow samples, okay? Now the first two I'm going to show you came in my, my Ipsy Glam bag. This one I really, really love, and I wish I could tell you the name. I actually don't know it right offhand. This was a little sample of an eyeshadow that came in a glam bag that I got. And unfortunately, they don't have a name. This is a great eyeshadow. See how it's kind of a gold color? It really, it looks just like that when you put it on. The, the color payoff is astounding. It's beautiful. A lot of these lighter mascara or eyeshadows, when you put them on, it doesn't really look like anything. This one is phenomenal. Um... If I can remember, I will get that name for you and I will be able to tell you who made this because I want to check out their other colors. So this is the first one. You see it's kind of a gold color and I find that it goes really well with a lot of other colors. And this was made by the same company. See, it's a really pretty dark blue and you have to use it very sparingly because I find that it, it's it's very dark. You have to be careful. It's very easy to overdo that one, but I really like it. Um, and then these are, I use these all the time. Um, my, my opinion about makeup may not be everybody's opinion, but in my opinion, if you find a product that works really well and you like it, um, even if it's inexpensive, you should use it. You shouldn't feel obligated to go buy all the expensive makeup because somebody told you it was the right thing to do or it's it's the coolest or whatever. This palette right here from LA Colors, I bought this at Family Dollar for, I think it was $3. I have been using this thing. I mean, you can see it's a lot of it is used up. I really like it. I don't use every color, but... I find that the color payoff is wonderful. It gives good coverage. It stays on all day. And I get compliments on it all the time. So we have a range of, you can see we have a range of blues and greens here. And we have a light taupe as well. Any yellow down here. And darker green as well. This is the Glam palette. An 18 color eyeshadow palette. And it comes with two little applicators here. And if we need it, we can use it for one of the um, one of these if we need to. So if you're interested, we have a bunch of um, different shades of blue. We have green. That's the first one. And I have another one that I use quite frequently as well. This one has a lot of purple, and it also has um, some dark gray and black. Here you can see, and we have taupe again. You like the purple, All right? Now, are you thinking something more along the lines of this dark purple, or like a fuchsia color? The dark purple, all right. Do you, how do you want to contrast that? Do you want to use um, the gold? Tell you what we'll do. We're going to use the dark purple and then add a bit of this middle pink right here. And then we're going to come back with just a little bit of the gold right in the corners. How about that? I think that'll look good. All right, before we, before we do that, now that we've selected our eyeshadows. Oh, there's this other one I have I want to show you too. This was also from my glam bag. This is from Bo Bote Basics. 
very pretty little taupe. I don't think it'll quite work for what you're thinking about, but I really like this one too. I use it pretty frequently. Comes in this cute little thing here, and it has even has a little sleeve that goes over it like that. Before we do that, and I actually meant to do this before the eyeliner and forgot. This is Urban Decay. Uh, this is the original eyeshadow primer. They have several, I think they have several different types. I prefer this one. And you, again, it's kind of like the Instantly Ageless. You are only going to apply a very, very small amount. A little dab will do ya. You remember if you ever heard a dippity doo commercial. That's it. That's going to cover both of your eyelids. And again, just like the instantly ageless, now your eyeliner has dried, so it's not going to mess that up. If you would just close your left eye, I'm going to put a dot on it, and your right eye, I'm going to put a dot on that one. And then I just smooth those little dots over, and that's it. Basically, now we're going to let the eyeshadow primer kind of settle and set. While we do that, we're going to do your powder. This is from Jerome Alexander. Um, I thought I would give it a try. Several people said I should try it and that I would really enjoy it. Um, see, it's, um, it's a pressed powder and it also has the concealer stuff in there. Um, it's okay. I mean, I think it's all right for a pressed powder. Um, I wasn't quite as blown away by it as some people said I would be. It's, it's nice though. So this is actually a Bare Minerals brush that I have had forever. You brush it gently over the pressed powder. You collect a little bit on your brush. Do this. Kind of settles it down in the brush. And that's all the powder I use. And I don't put a bunch of powder on my face, but I start on the cheeks. And I do a little circular motion. Then I bring it down here. Like that. Get the chin. There. Down the nose. Across the forehead. And then, once I've kind of distributed it everywhere, I come back. And I make kind of big, sweeping, circular motions all over the face and down the neck to kind of spread it a little more evenly. It's, it's actually not a lot of powder. Um, but I find that you don't need a lot. After you apply it, you come back with a little sponge. And this, this actually came with the powder. So you use the brush to apply it initially. Then you come back with this and you just sort of sort of pet your face with it. You just go over your face with the sponge and it kind of buffs it for you a little bit. It does something. It, it helps it sort of settle there. Fills in the cracks or whatever. It's like spackle. It's wonderful. Okay. So your face is all done except for your eyeshadow. Now you again said you wanted the dark purple and this middle pink, and the gold. All right, let's start with the dark purple. I'm going to apply just a bit. It's going to make like a line in the crease of your eyelid there with the dark purple first. Now, the good thing about that eyeshadow primer is that this will hold your eyeshadow in place all day. And it won't end up transferring and traveling all over the place as it sometimes does. Just using a little bit. I'm applying a tiny bit at a time until I get it to where I want it. Okay. Then, on the lower part of your lid, I'm going to apply the middle, this, uh, this lighter the color, this pink here. Okay. So if you close your look, your left eye. I'm just going to kind of sweep it over. Very gently just sweep it over your eye. And then we're going to apply some. If you would just close your right eye, you can open your left eye. Over the right eye. 
sweep it over that one. Okay, now I may come back and do a little bit more of that dark purple in just a minute, but first I want to um, check out this gold here now. See how dark that applicator looks? I'm going to sweep it through here and show you the difference. It lightens up quite a bit. See? Now I'm not going to, I'm not going to apply that. I'm not going to press hard. I am lightly going to just dust the corners of your eyelids. Yeah, just close them a little bit for me. Just lightly. And it really kind of sparkles your eyelids up a little bit. It's a very subtle thing, but it, it actually looks really nice. But let me do a, just a tad more of the dark purple on the outer edges here. Just if you just close your eyelid halfway. And this one. Mm, that's perfect. That looks so pretty. I really like that. That's going to look so good. <laughs> I think you're going to love it. I think, I think that's everything. Um, of course, you are certainly welcome to wear a lipstick. Um, on a typical day, I don't. But, of course, you know, if you want to do that, that would look wonderful, too. So, you are all set, and we have completed your makeover. I hope that you really like it. Thank you so much for coming by and letting me do that. Fix your makeup and do your makeup for you. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you really soon.